hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of cs card pay tabs payment gateway add-on now pay tabs is a simple payment gateway that can be quickly integrated with the merchant websites and it enables fast deposit of payments to the merchant's account this add-on works with the checkout for the payments in cs card and will work for both the test and live environments the admin can easily implement pay tabs payment gateway with his website and customers can easily make a payment using the same can you know that this add-on is well integrated with the CS card and CS card multi vendor? Also, this add-on supports all kinds of cards, including Visa, Mastercard, Amex, Discover, JCB, etc. It also supports two types of payments. Uh, one is the PayTabs Express Checkout, and the other one is the PayTabs PayPage hosted one, and works with the all currencies supported by PayTabs. That is for 168 currencies altogether there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the storefront and the customers and how the customers can make use of this particular plugin and can make a checkout thereafter using the payment gateway itself and the rest of the flow at the admin's end thereafter for the configuration of the CS card pay tabs payment gateway add-on. But before we proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the uh, CS Card web store front end and I'm on one of the products that's the Fair 3 PlayStation 3 uh, game. One of the games is uh, game product is there. So what I'll be doing is I'll be adding this particular product into the cart. I'm already logged into my customer account as you can see here uh, from the uh, top right hand corner. I'm already logged into my customer account there. So what I'll do is I'll add this particular product into the cart there. And then I'll be tapping here on the checkout button. Then after that, uh, I'll be selecting my shipping method and tapping on the continue button. So today I'll be showing you uh, the two types of payments that can be uh, selected by the customers at the checkout time. That is uh, PayTab pay page payment and PayTab Express checkout. So I'll be showing you the workflow of both of these uh, in the uh, same in today's video tutorial there. So let's check out the PayTab's pay page payment first. So I've selected PayTab's pay page payment here. And then I'll be uh, doing one thing. I'll be tapping here on the submit my order button. Now we'll be redirected to the paytabs.com wherein we can make the payment using our credit cards or uh, our different cards there. Now here you have the option to view the invoice as well by tapping on the invoice and you can find the description of the product there, the quantity, the unit price, the amount there and the total that needs to be made uh, or, or the total that uh, needs to be made uh, there for the particular order. So as to make the payment, I'll uh, be putting up uh, the details of my card there and I'll be entering my CVV number, my expiry date, expiry year and I'll be tapping here on the pay now button. So this is the process for the pay tabs uh, pay page hosted one. And in a while we'll be redirected back to the web store there after the order has been processed. So you can see that the order has been placed. Uh, your order has been successfully placed there. Uh, let's go to our account there and with the order details by tapping here on the order details. So here on the uh, order details page, here is the product that we had ordered. And here under the summary, you can see that see that the payment method that was chosen was PayTabs Pay Page Payment uh, Gateway. And uh, the subtotal was $19 and the total that was paid was $19.99 there all uh, including there so this was one of the uh, one of the two types of the payments now we'll be checking out the paytabs express checkout uh, payment method there uh, so for that what i'll do is i'll reorder this uh, particular order once again let me tap here on the proceed to checkout button i'll choose my shipping here and uh, then on the under the what we say as the billing options here i'll choose my payment option as paytab express checkout now this would bring up a pop-up where we need to enter the details of our card so as to make the payment so i'll just tap here on the submit my order so you can see that we have the pay tabs uh, what we say as the uh, pop-up there for making the uh, payment for the 19 dollars there and 99 cents i'll be entering my card details i'll be entering my month my year and my cvv number and then here uh, to make the payment for $19.99, I need to tap on the pay now button. 
so in a few seconds from now the payment would be made and you can see that the payment result the payment is uh, completed successfully and uh, you do not need to close the browser window until you return back to the web store there so you have to wait for a few seconds there so you can see that the order has been successfully placed there and we can check the order details by tapping on the order details here now if I scroll down to the summary of the order details here we can see that the payment method that was chosen was Paytabs Express Checkout right now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you both of the orders uh, being placed there uh, so for that I'll log into the admin backend panel by entering my email address and my password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter now after I've logged in I'll go to orders and view orders under view orders you can see we are order number 28 and 29 if I check the order number 38 it's complete right now on the right hand side you can see the status as complete under the payment method you can see the uh, payment method was pay tab pay page payment and the result was the payment is completed successfully we have the invoice uh, pay page invoice ID as well and the reference ID and the transaction ID as well visible to the admin there and the other order that we placed uh, using the uh, express checkout is also visible here so if I tap on the order 129 there I can see the details are the same so here on the right hand side you can see that we have the payment information and the method is pay tabs express checkout the transaction ID is there the credit card that was used the type of visa the status is approved and the order status is complete so that was the workflow at the customer's end uh, and how the admin can view the particular orders uh, that were placed using the uh, pay tabs payment gateway there and you can see that uh, the order status for both of these orders is complete there right now now let me show you the configuration for the cs card pay tabs payment gateway so for that what you need to do is you need to go to administration and payment methods under payment methods here you can add a new payment method by tapping here on the top right hand corner on the add payment method so I've already added the pay tabs pay page payment and the pay tabs express checkout payment methods as you can see both of them have been added so let me edit that up and let me show you what details you need to enter there so here for the pay tabs pay uh, page payment you have to set the name that is visible to the customers at the checkout time then from the drop down you have to choose the processor as pay tabs pay page payment then accordingly you have to choose the template as cc underscore pay page dot ppl then uh, the payment category needs to be chosen as credit card you can choose the user groups for which this uh, particular payment method would be applicable uh, if you want you can also set up a description there if you want you can also add uh, the surcharge uh, for processing the payment there uh, you can also set the surcharge title uh, here uh, apart from that you can also choose to apply the evaluated text and if you have any payment instructions you can also enter those payment instructions here and those would be visible to the customers at the checkout time there apart from the payment instructions you can also add an icon there and uh, you can also set up the alternative text for the uh, icon or the image of the uh, payment uh, method there now apart from the general configurations we have the uh, configure uh, tab as well now under the configure tab you need to enter your secret key uh, or the merchant secret key which is found under the merchant dashboard navigation menu secret key uh, on your pay tabs account so you should have a pay tabs account after creating the account you can get your secret key for more details on how to get the uh, merchant email id and the secret key you can check the user guide that i have attached within the description of this particular video there and uh, after entering the secret key merchant email id you have to set up the site url or the url of, or you, of your site from which uh, you will configure the api there then you have to set up the success order status and here you have to select the order status on successful order uh, using this payment method and then you have to choose the failure order status and here you'll select the order status when the order is failed there and then you have need to tap on the save button to save the particular payment method and that particular payment method would then be listed here the same goes with the express checkout as well to add the express checkout you have to tap here on the add uh, payment method and then you need to fill in the details there uh, let me edit this particular one uh, that's the express checkout let me edit it up and uh, after editing it up you can see that we again have the general and the configured tab so under the general tab you can set up the name uh, of the payment method there the uh, processor can be chosen as the paypal uh, sorry the pay tabs express checkout the template as cc underscore pay tab dot ppl payment uh, category and the rest of the things goes same for this one as well 
then under the configure tab you have the secret key merchant id so here you have to enter your secret key uh, the same uh, goes for this one as well the secret key uh, you can get it from your paytabs account there then the merchant id needs to be entered then you have to set up the success order status and the failure order status and then you can tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings and the particular payment method would be saved here as you can see both of these have been uh, created and saved using the add payment method button and entering the details uh, for each of them there so then we have the paytabs pay page uh, payment and the paytabs uh, express checkout payment method there so yes that was much about the cs card paytabs payment gateway uh, add-on and i hope it helped you out in understanding how this particular plugin helps out the customers there and how it uh, integrates with the cs card and how uh, uh, it can be quickly integrated with the merchant websites and how it enables the fast deposit of payments to the merchant account there if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding the same if you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead